also show you kind of the mix of what I put up in terms of the types of items, the types of products, and then um, the fit types that folks get. Obviously, just jumping down to fit types, this is kind of misleading in terms of men because women, we buy men's shirts sizing wise as well. So it's not like a majority of my portfolio appeals to men versus women. It's just a sizing preference. So um, a lot of my shirts, I would think, you know, especially in a music genre and stuff like that, it kind of appeals to both sexes, but it may lean more towards men in general, but I don't know. But I think it's just sizing preferences for women too that's kind of on uh, skewing the men's sizing. And then I don't do much youth clothing since some, you know, since Amazon changed their policy and allows us to do more adult themed shirts. I just don't want to make a mistake and click youth sizes and stuff. And then how odd things happen. Uh, in terms of the bots that are looking at that sometimes, I think certain words trigger, you know, uh, rejections and they shouldn't. So I don't even play around with you sizes because some of my brand names that I have, if you think about some of the words in there, it can be constru misconstrued as an adult word, uh, but it's not meant that way. So anyway. That's kind of the breakdown there. And obviously I do more standard shirts than premium shirts. I only have one shirt that's a premium shirt. And you can see how many times I've sold that. 81 times is one of the shirts that I've had up since the beginning. And it's a very popular shirt. And I have very little returns on that shirt, even though it's a premium shirt. And men, women of all shapes and sizes probably... Uh, wear that shirt so I don't know I was nervous about that because I was like okay well I guess starting out tier 10 I should have did because I want premium quality I'm starting out I'm thinking you're supposed to put everything on premium and you just take the hit a little bit on your royalties but it I, either way it hasn't really bothered my sales and then you guys can see how many uh, standard shirts I've sold pop sockets the pop sockets blew up around uh, Christmas and I haven't sold many since then. And it was funny because when I was doing a video for Tuesday, I was saying, you know, my pop socket sales have basically gone away. I haven't sold any and I sold one that day. So you never know. Maybe you're speaking into the universe and it comes, but um, you can see what I sold in hoodies. That was a majority over Christmas, and that kind of has waned too. So the t-shirt wins the day, and I'll be excited when we do get, if we do get tank tops. I fell victim to the April Fool's joke that was floating around um, in the Reddit groups and then the subreddits and uh, also on Rules for Rebels. I watch him too. Shout out for, to Rules for Rebels. They got me. I thought <laughs> that we were getting tank tops, but not yet. So maybe we will. But um, I definitely want to do some cool stuff there if we are able to upload to those in the future. So question for you guys, let me know what you think the next product we might get on Merch by Amazon, especially now that we have the multi uploader and I haven't been blessed. My account hasn't been blessed with the beta for the multi product uploader yet. But if you have it, let me know how it's going for you. I've been watching some tutorials with certain folks using it and it looks to be cool. I'm just nervous about using it because some people as they are you know, putting in their descriptions, keywords, the design and all of this, they'll upload it to all of the products at once that they let you. And then some people were getting a couple rejections out of the five products. And I'm like, what? This is like a blessing and a curse at the same time because you got to be super careful and make sure that I don't know. I don't know why they were getting rejections on some or others if they were using the same maybe it was pop sockets maybe the certain wording phrasing that they were using on 
the shirts, hoodies, whatever, then doesn't go for, for that particular product. So I don't know, but, um, I like the concept that we can do multi uploads, but you know, red bubble, they don't crack down as much on keywording and all of that and designs even as Amazon does. So this is the time to be extra careful if you are using the multi uploader, cause you do not want Multiple rejections at once, if at all. No rejections. We don't want any rejections around here. We can't take rejection. So, um, the last set of stats I wanted to share with you guys is finally the 80-20 rule. So, here, product sales, 83, 833 of my sales were generated by 98 of my products. So, that's... My 80-20 rule is kind of like not quite 80-20, but that is causing me to look at how many products I have. So I've sold overall 258 of the products that I have up out of the thousand products that I have right now. So 258 of my products has sold right now. So the 25% that I share with you guys in my 25% uh, of my portfolio has sold video. So everything is really interconnected and kind of coming together. And again, as I had mentioned before, just normalizing overall from the, you know, barren days of starting out new on merch to getting some momentum going. Uh, in terms of sales and really building out the portfolio. So that's what I had to share with you guys today. Uh, hopefully this is helpful to you as I give you a more in-depth look at what my journey has been like now that I'm at tier 2000. It hasn't been like a super fast, fast forward to um, merch by Amazon, success, stability, whatever you want to call it. But it's a slow but sure process in the beginning and then you just get momentum, understand what selling, what works for you, what your portfolio is targeted towards, the customers that you are getting and you can pretty much count on to buy your products even though you don't know them. You kind of you kind of feel the trends, and then me going through partial Q1, Q2, three, and four last year, and then my first real Q1. So now I feel that you know I have my legs under me and understand what's going on, and so I remember what it feels like to be tier ten, tier twenty five. So you guys reach out, ask questions, share with me, and in turn you'll be sharing with others here and probably get more even more insight from the community as a whole so as i mentioned all the time uh definitely do like and share this content and subscribe bring others in so the more we share the more we focus on you know growth and help each other grow the better so uh, again i appreciate you guys for visiting Thank you to my subscribers. I hope like at 500 subscribers, I do something special for you guys. Maybe I'll do a, you know, Q&A session live or pick one of you guys at random. And if you need help with your design or just want somebody to look over your bullets, keywords, give you some advice about that, targeting, whatever, maybe that's something that we can do at 500 subscribers. So again, thank you for being part of the community, visiting my planet, sharing in terms of merchant entrepreneurship in general. I wish you best of luck on all of your endeavors. And until next time, be well and peace, family.